All right, here we've got uh, Hamster Playground. Been playing the Xbox Series X, courtesy of We Did Games. Oh, thank them very much for the opportunity. So this is a, actually a free to play game, uh, similar, similar, excuse me, to games like the little handheld Tamagotchi Virtual Pets. Uh, essentially, that's what this is. It's a virtual pet game. That's all about hamsters. Uh, and it's a very cute game. It really is a cute game with a lot of uh, uh, a lot of different um, uh, customizations. Uh, excuse me, customizational options. So you can uh, put on put stickers around the room. You can change wallpapers, change entire room themes. You can upgrade things like the water bowl, the playground, um, things like that. And you just gotta take care of them. Uh, things will break down, so you'll have to actually go ahead and replenish them and fix them. That will take screws and stars and coins to do so. Um, and uh, the way you earn coins and, and stars and screws and such is you can either come all the way over here and make them work for it. So you can, for instance, if you wanted, say, uh, more stars, you can come over here and have them do this task. Uh, that also get them one, uh, one knowledge. Uh, you can have them get, uh, I think it's agility plus one. Uh, and you get uh, seeds one every 20 seconds. Uh, and then you've got this one here, which uh, does think speed and then the screw over 10 seconds. And then here you get 20 coins or five coins over 20 seconds plus one to strength. So pretty, pretty easy way to gain, um, gain resources. You can also do tasks like, for instance, up their strength. Uh, you can uh, up their, uh, up their agility. You'll get seeds for that. And you'll use seeds to uh, either do upgrades or uh, adopt additional hamsters. Now you can go ahead and individually individually click these things or you can come to the quick uh, quick menu and just do it um, just by doing it from the menu itself. Now from what I can tell uh, is that um, now I, I can't confirm this but the game does appear to be somewhat playing in real time even if you're not playing. So you'll find that over time, your hamster's uh, needs will will deplete, de decrease, deplete, um, be exhausted, however we want to want to word that. Um, and what I've noticed is that um, it and it may be that actually now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, I think it might be that it was on quick resume. And it's technically still running in the background, I, I guess. I don't know how, that, how that'll works, but something I can figure is that it, it's because the, the the things like hunger and and, uh, and water and such, um, they do appear to be depleting even if you're not playing. It just isn't as in real time as I initially thought it would have been. I initially thought it was. Um, so keep that in mind. That if you are gonna get this game, you're gonna want to go want to go ahead and and uh, you know, pay attention to your hamsters at least once a day. <laughs> uh, this is a free game, obviously, uh, so you don't have to pay anything to play the game. Now, uh, We Did Games did provide me with with uh, with codes for the game. And what that does is if I come up here, oops, don't here uh, to where's to race so you can play with the CPU or play with random players online I'm going to do play with CPU so what they've gone ahead and done is they've gotten gone ahead and provided me codes for uh, for these games for these mini games so you got the maze you got the skateboard eating contest uh, be worth we were the cat and vehicle pull uh, playing these games will get you resources quicker than they would um, by having them work or doing other tasks. And these are ones you do have to pay for. They also did give me codes for a couple of, of uh, 
of uh, uh, outfits that, that you can put on your hamsters. I can't do that yet because even if you do up, if you purchase them, you just still have to get the resources to actually purchase them in game. So it's kind of lame, uh, but pretty cool uh, outfits nonetheless. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through these mini games here. I'm gonna do novice because why not? And I will go ahead and we're gonna have Daisy play this one. So this is essentially just a quick time event. Just have to get them, uh, get it within the, the circle or within the uh, space quicker than the uh, CPU. Also, you've got button press events there as well. So pretty, pretty cool little game overall. Um, I do like. Oh, I missed. I do like the variety. Um, that you have here with these little mini games. Uh, I also like the fact that you can get resources quicker when you play them. Okay, and hopefully, nope. There's a tie. What? That was clearly a tie. But okay, you, you still get resources regardless, though, which is kind of nice. I'm going to change race. And we'll do the skateboarding one. The novice will have Coco play this one. I would normally have each hamster play the game once because I think it does attribute to their stats. But um, I'm, I'm okay with not doing it for now. And these are just the quick time event button presses, is all this is. I need to up Coco's uh, stats. Coco's not do too well. Daisy would do a heck of a lot better at this thing than uh, Coco. For sure. He didn't even finish. She didn't even. Third place. Pathetic. But at least. <laughs> this got coins and stuffs out of it. <laughs> and some screws. I love the fact that they're throwing their skateboards around. It's great. Alright, I'm going to change the race here. Again, I'm going to show you every, uh, every race here. Again, these are purchasable. Uh, DLC content that helps you to get uh, to get these resources quicker. Um, the the eating one I'm probably is probably my least favorite because it's just it's just find the correct card. And sometimes the the computer's a lot better at it than you are, uh, a lot quicker, and it's just kind of annoying, almost unfair. So speaking, I wish it was a different. Uh, mini game. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually gonna get this one. Oh, looks like I got second place though. Hey, Coco did did okay. She didn't get third place. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the next one here, which is gonna do be the vehicle pull. This one's kind of fun. I'll have Daisy do this one. Coco can send this one out. I have the vehicle pole. And this one you just have to keep um, the arrow in the space. Is all I gotta do with this. And um, uh, the hamster stats do help with these mini games. So you define you are losing. Uh, you can up their stats and try these mini games again. That's if you want to purchase them. That is. These are this one too. And this one here is. Um, Pretty easy. You just have to press it um, within the space uh, and get further ahead than your opponents. And all your opponents can push back to the point where you'll win. Uh, pretty simple. Not a hard mini game at all to beat. 
Especially if you have your stats up, uh, up high enough. <laughs> and I won that one. So. And if you're done with your races, you can come back here and you can tend your hamsters. And you get level ups here, like you like, uh, just show, saw there. And you can open your little gifts that you get when you level up. So we got a couple of seeds, 10 screws. This one gave us 50 coins, 1 seed, and 50 stars. And this one gave us 20 screws, 100 stars, two, 300 stars. That's cool. All right. And I can go ahead and purchase upgrades. I'll go ahead and say if I wanted to upgrade the, the feeder. I can go ahead and do three feeding stations for 200 uh, screws. I'm not going to do that though because it's a lot of screws. I can upgrade the water for 200 screws. I'm not going to do that either though. I will upgrade the playground. Why not? I'll upgrade the playground for 100 screws. Why not? And if I upgrade the beds, I'll go ahead and do two beds. Why not? And you upgrade their uh, their their uh, uh, training things, which is kind of cool. I mean, this game's pretty fun for a free game. There's a lot of content here. Uh, I mean, yes, you got the paid DLC to do the mini games, uh, but even without the paid DLC. It's a pretty fun little virtual pet game. Uh, if you like pets, you like virtual pet games, like hamsters, you're, you definitely want to pick up hamsters, uh, uh, Hamster Playground. It's it's a fun game. I do want to thank We Did Games for the opportunity. I'm going to end the video here. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And so, as the next time, take care and happy gaming.